If you have a mahjong set at home, try playing solitaire. It's great practice. You just have to make sure that when you're playing, you make decisions for one hand at a time. Pretend like you don't know what's in the other three players' hands and you can actually gain some benefit from playing solitaire. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and want to build on your skills, consider subscribing to my channel and click the bell so you get notification for when I post new videos. That way you won't miss anything. Let's play solitaire. I have all my tiles out here. They've been mixed. I'm going to get 14 tiles for East, and then I'm going to get 13 random tiles for the next three players. Okay, everybody has their tiles. Now I'm gonna build the con wall, or the dead wall. It's made up of seven tiles too high. And this is where we're gonna get our Dora indicator. There's the con wall. Okay, we're gonna flip for Dora. Seven Bam is Dora. Everybody has a ten bow in case they want to reach. Let's see what everybody has. We're gonna say that it's east round. Okay. Pair north right there. Ooh. Okay. I think we should have them play a half flush with dots. Dots and honors for east. Four discards, that's not bad. Let's see what we can do for South. Ooh, they have a lot of BAMs. Well, they have a mixture, really. Let's see what their chi potential is. We should probably play Pinfu. Here's a pair and here's a pair. We could probably split that out though into a potential chi, potential chi. Here's a potential chi. That seven is isolated. That nine is isolated. Here's a potential chi and there's a pair. Okay, so Pinfu for South. Let's see how that goes. For West. Pair of green dragons and they have two pair here I think we should have them play all pwn they have a pair of eight dots a pair of three cracks okay let's see how that goes for them north bams they have a couple of honors Here's an Akadora. Ooh, they have, they do have a couple pair here. No, one pair. They have one pair. Mm. Mostly Bams, one pair. Maybe we should have them play Pinfu also. Here's a potential Chi. Here's a pair. These are isolated. There's a Chi, potential Chi. I'm thinking we should probably have them play Pinfu, get rid of those honors. All right, here we go. Half flush, let's get rid of the five bam. 
We're going to have East discard on the lower right. Five BAM was discarded. We're going to draw four south. Nobody can take the five BAM, so we'll draw. Nine BAM. I believe we were going to play Pin Fu. These are isolated. Potential Chi, potential Chi, potential Chi, potential Chi, potential Chi, pair. Let's get rid of these. Seven crack. Discard. Okay, now drawing four west. Eight crack. We're going to try to get them to all pwn. Let's discard. Let's hold the cracks. Maybe we could get them to a half flesh and sacrifice the eights. Let's discard the five dot. Lower left corner. Five dot. Nobody can take it. Let's draw four north. Four dot. We're going to have them play Pinfu, so that's a good tile. Let's discard the white dragon, upper left area, and we're going to draw four east. Nine bam, that's a discard. Drawing four south because nobody can take it. Seven dot. If we're going to have them play Pinfu, that is a potential keeper. Pair. Potential. Potential, potential, all potential. Seven Bam is Dora. Let's hold those. And let's go ahead and get rid of the four dot. Maybe this could be their two sided weight. Six, seven. Let's get rid of the four dot. And draw four west. West got a west. Keep it. Let's get rid of the five bam. Actually, let's get rid of the six bam because that's Dora. Six bam, and we'll draw four north. Seven dot. That's a good pinfu tile. Let's get rid of the south. Nobody can take the south, so we're going to draw for east. White Dragon, very nice. That is a good potential pwn tile. Let's get rid of the two crack. And nobody can take the two crack, so we're going to draw four south. Three dot, that's a discard. And nobody can take a three dot. Actually, this player down here could take it for a pwn and still have leftover for a chi there. Let's see, if we did a two, three, four here, three, four, five there, either way, they can be set up with, with a leftover potential chi. Let's go ahead and pwn it. Pwn the three dot. Over there to the lower right and we're going to discard a six crack and draw four south. Ooh, they got an east. Let's see, we're trying to get them to pin foo though. We need to get rid of that east. Nobody can take the east, so we're going to draw four west. West got a west. That's good. That's their seat wind. We need to get them to an all pwn. Let's get rid of the five bam for west. And nobody can take a five bam. We're going to draw four north. Two bam. That might help. Let's see. So here we have potential chi with a two four. Four six potential. Four five six. That's an outlier. Here's a pair. And then here's two potential chis. Let's get rid of the seven dot. Okay, there's a two-sided weight. Inside weights, inside weight, or middle weight, whatever you want to call it there. 
So we threw a seven dot. Let's draw four east. Two dot, keeper. That's nice. Let's get rid of the seven crack. And we're gonna draw four south. Seven crack, I discarded a seven crack. Nobody can take a seven crack. So we're gonna draw north. We're playing pin foo. This is not a value tile for south, but I don't wanna be waiting on an honor. So I'm gonna throw it. And we're gonna draw, oh, pwn, pwn for north. I mean, east, east is gonna pwn the north. And we are gonna discard, let's discard the east, it's already out. And draw four south, nine crack, nine crack. Let's throw the nine dot, either one, it's not gonna be helpful. And we're gonna draw four west, five crack. That's not a good tile for them. Let's discard that, five crack. And drawing four north, a one bam, one bam. Okay. So here's a one, two, three, potential two, three, four, two, three, five, six, there's Okay, so we still need a pair in here. I don't think that one was gonna be helpful because here's their pair. This is a two-sided weight. I don't think that was gonna be helpful. Not only that, but they're also set up for all simples, which are two through eight, no ones and nines. We're gonna get rid of that. We'll play pinfu and all simples. So let's draw four east, nine dot, okay. So here we have potential pwn, potential pwn with the white dragon, and then two potential cheese. Let's look and see what's out. Seven dot, edge weight, there's one out. Here's a four or five two-sided weight. Let's get rid of the nine dot. Two-sided weight has two opportunities for a win. Okay, so nine dot was discarded. Let's draw four south. One dot, discard. Drawing four west. Three crack, that's a keeper. There's a pwn right there. Let's get rid of the eight crack. Nobody can take an eight crack, so we'll draw four north. Ooh, Dora, seven bam, six, seven, eight, four, five, six. Here's two potential cheese. There's a middle, uh, I'm sorry, here's the two-sided weight right there. And here is a pair. Let's get rid of the four crack, or let's get rid of the two crack for them. Either one, it doesn't really matter. They're still one away from being ready. So let's draw four east. <gasps> two dot! They're ready to win on a either, well, no, they're ready to win on a three dot or a six dot. We're gonna throw the eight dot. They have a pwn of three dot and they have a pwn of north. They have a pwn of two dots, a pair of white dragons. They're ready on a three dot or a six dot. So now we're gonna draw for south. Three dot, let's just see, eight, nine, six, eight, three, five, three, four, six, seven, pair of ones, three, nine. There are no nine cracks out. We'll just throw the nine crack and draw four west. Six crack, no keeper there. Throwing the six crack. Nobody can take six crack. We're gonna draw four north, eight bam. That's not a good keeper tile. We could keep it for a little while. Let's throw the four crack and draw four east. Green dragon, they're ready to win. Let's not 
muddy the waters. Green dragon, nobody can take it. We're gonna draw four south. One dot, that's a discard. It's already in their discard pile. Let's draw four west. Nine crack, they already threw it, or somebody did. Nine crack, four west. Let's draw four north. Four dot. Okay, these are not helpful. They're one away from being able to reach. Let's discard the four dot. Four dot and draw four north, I mean east. One bam, that's a discard. Let's draw four south. Three bam, three bam, that's not helpful. Three bam, they already have a pair. We'll discard the three bam and draw four west. Oh, they got a south, nice. Okay, north is out. There's a pone of north, so let's discard. They have one, two, three, four, five pair. If they get one more pair, they could be ready on all pair, seven pair. Let's get rid of the north and draw four north. Six crack, that is a discard. We need, we need a five crack up here. Let's discard the six crack. How many five cracks are out? There's one, just one. Okay, we're gonna draw four east. Five crack, aw. Five crack. Now there's two five cracks out. That's what they need. Let's draw four south. One bam. One bam. That could be a potential chi here for them. Let's see. Pair of ones, six, seven, three, four, one, three, five, six, eight, nine. Let's throw the three dot. Three dot, and that would be mahjong for east. Mahjong for east by south. So south would pay. So we have a half flush. It was an exposed hand, so there's no Dora here. But they get a half flush, which is, I believe that is two Yaku, two, one, ha, one Han, or one Yaku and two Han for half flush. Let me see here. Yes, that is correct. A half flush. And since they have a Chi in here, they were one away from having all pwn. That would have been a nice stack. But that's okay. That's decent. Two, two Han. So they would have to count many points. If there's anything that you would have done different for these hands, write it in the comment section. I'm still learning how to play myself. And since I'm playing all three hands, I have certain tendencies. As you can probably tell already, I like half flesh. That's my favorite Yaku, half flesh. I think that comes from my uh, American style background, going for half flesh with Wright Patterson style. It's a really uh, there's a lot of flexibility with one suit or one suit with honors in Wright-Patterson style. So it translates a little bit to Japanese style, and that's where my tendencies are. So let me know if you saw something else. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, consider subscribing and click the bell so you get notification for when I post new videos. That way you won't miss out on any opportunities to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight into the game that might give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next solitaire for Japanese Mahjong, also known as Reach, may all your picks be keepers.